Um, I want to get us outdoors as quickly as possible for a couple of reasons. One, it's a beautiful day outside. Two, um, we have guests from the Lower Grand River Organization of Watershed, and you'll have one scientific expert at each site to help you um, work through what you're doing. At site A, so this is the first site, and do you guys think, you guys know where the sites are now, right? So let's just have the A group go to A group, site B group go to B site, C group. So site A is going to be with Eileen Bokenstein. And so if you are in site A, you're going to be going with Eileen, and that would be Jude, Kaylin, Johan, Dwan, Dwan, Nathan, Isaac, Blake, and Emma. Okay? Everybody know who's in your group? Okay. If you are at site B, you will be going with Kara, and site B is Jillian, Madeline, Logan, Jacob, Caitlin, Natalie, Janae, Chloe, Nala, and Ledette. And you can see if you're in group one, group two, or group three, correct? Yeah, go quick. If you are at site C, you are going to be with Courtney. So Courtney, can you raise your hand? So site C people, that's Yosef, Charles, Melanie, Ava, Jason, Caden, Jack, Catherine, Stacy, and Isabella. Okay. So I need you to, because we really do want to get outside quickly, just remember when we go outside, you want to make sure you stay with your group, that you're on task, right, and that you're listening to what our guest adults tell us because, and Eileen, you said this every other hour, but um, we are in a really cool opportunity that the Grand River Watershed Organization of Watersheds is actually interested in what's going on in Lamberton Creek. We're having some issues or things that they're observing that they want to know more about. We're right at the headwaters, so the start. So the data that we're collecting, no one else is, and it's new. So we do want to get really good quality measurements. We're doing this at the beginning of the year because we're talking about how do we collect data, how do we take measurements, right? We've spent some stuff on time on that in the last week or two. So we're moving forward and actually going to do some science today. Besides ourselves, the only other people who are taking measurements on land Creek are those who are at, it's a Montessori school. North Park Montessori, and then students at KCPC and Design Lab are also Yep. So the data that we take today is going to get posted on a public website. So we want to make sure that we're taking good measurements. So when you're out there, I know it's a beautiful, fun day, but make sure that you're looking at your list. Use the workbook for directions if you're not sure how to take a measurement so you have a good one. But you want to have quality data rather than fast data. Where it's coming from? Runoff. Runoff from where? Uh, rain. From rain? So where, where did it run off from? Roads. Roads, pavement. Yeah, so um, interestingly, I have always thought that this came from all of the pavement on the campus here and the parking lots and things, but Ms. Perry said in the first period that she recently learned that this is coming from a place that is different than what she thought. So I actually don't know with 100% certainty where it's coming from, so I would love for you guys to figure that out and please let me know. But this was put in, I think, two summers ago. They redid a lot of the pipes over here and they redid this culvert. And then they put this fabric, this landscaping fabric, underneath all of these rocks to um, kind of hold the soil in place. So then water comes rushing through here that, that the soil didn't get eroded underneath the rocks. Uh, but now the rocks are all tumbled around, and I'd like you guys to think about why are all these rocks tumbled around. When I first came down here, when they first built this, it, it was nice and even and smooth. And now there's these big gaps, and there's sand in there. So, so the first thing you'll want to do is walk the stream length. So you'll want to cross again. Yep. And go down the path. Follow the path down to where the second pink flag is. While you're going down, make sure you're looking at the stream, at the substrate. So that's the bottom of the stream. What is it composed of? Is it rocks? Is it sand? Is it gravel? Is it clay? Uh, so make sure you're looking at that before the stream gets mucked up too much from people walking in it. So the stream width asks for the average width. That means you're taking more than one measurement and averaging them. 
All right, someone's got to help. What's your name with the waiters? Jude. Jude, someone's got to help Jude with the measurement with the width yeah, measurement. Kind of, it's 10 inches deep right here. I'm scared of water. Dude, I'm I can't read it. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's hardcore. Oh. That was like, did you film that? That was yeah, awesome. That was <laughs> I think it's like 10 inches right here. Oh. Okay, so you're doing depth right now? Nine inches. Okay, yeah, nine inches. Cool. And then you're going to want to go to a little bit different yeah. place and measure again. Okay, so which one are you on? Um, stream diversity. Okay, so. That is number seven. So, first you need to decide, is this a riffle run or a pool glide type of stream? Yeah, it feels exactly I think it's more of a pool glide. I think you're correct. Okay, so then you only need to look at the, the pool glide stuff. So stream diversity. Um, this is one you might need to do in the classroom because we measured the total length of the stream reach, which is 33 meters, but we haven't done the straight line measurement. So straight line, the stream reach is 33 meters, which means following the curve of the stream. Uh, a straight line would be draw a straight line between these two points on the stream. Um, which is really hard to measure with our measuring tape because of all the brush. So we're going to measure it on a map in the classroom okay. later. The stream is free, right? Oh, we have so we need a measure of distance and a measure of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure a distance of the stream, and then we're going to drop the orange in it and see how long it takes to get from point A to point B. It's actually not that big. So we're going to do this like a little bit of stream here. So you can hop across. Yep. the other groups did. So yeah. as long as you got some of the other parts, okay. you get the other part filled out. <laughs> what the question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So upstream is where we're standing now. Downstream is where we ended up. So draw the stream channel, the kind of the curves that you remember of what the stream channel looked like. And then I want you to record on there anything interesting that you noticed along the bank. So was there a lot of plants? Was the bank really steep here? Was this a really deep spot in so the stream? I right you would write kind of along the edges. Interesting things that you noticed. And like right here, there's a bunch of raspberry plants. Exactly. That's exactly the kind of stuff you would write. Is a big old bush? A big bush of raspberries? Were there any ripe? No. No? They Shoot. would have all been gone now from... Um, so like down here, where we were most of the end, we, you notice some deep spots in the stream, right? So you could write pools kind of over here. I think I got to carry off me now. Okay, so what we didn't do, one thing we didn't do was canopy cover. So canopy cover is how much of the trees were overhead in the stream. So if you, was group one? Group one? and one getting the other. Okay, so if you were standing in the stream and you looked up, would you see totally open above you? Was it partially open or was it totally covered in plants? Partially open. Yep, so you would have put partially covered. So the other thing that's important, I think, that I want to talk about that we didn't do down there is the riffle run uh, and pool. So did you guys look through the handbook yesterday before you came down here? We have handbooks. Did you guys look at them in class yesterday? Yeah. Can anybody remember what a riffle looks like or describe a riffle? 
the small waves going down the stream. Exactly. Then what would be a pool? Uh, Anybody? Well, 